Who is Nate Hill? That's a very broad question. Who is Nate Hill? Nate Hill is a 24-year-old from rural Pennsylvania whose dream pretty much his whole life was to be a professional gamer. Nate Hill has been on fire all game, pulling out these clutch victories, these like insane plays that like I feel most players wouldn't do. I'm definitely gonna be checking him out after the, the stream, like checking out his uh, his live stream. He's a very good player. I'm sure there's a lot to be. He's surviving. Incredible building. I would be so impressed. I don't know how he's doing this, but he's doing an incredible job of staying alive right now. Low mats, he's gotta get. Oh, yeah, no need. Look at this, look at this no mat fight, dude. Just like... Wow, Nate Hill going to he won again. To start off professionally, to play Fortnite, I, the first event that I, that I ever thought to do was the Ninja one in Chicago. I missed the one in, in Vegas, and everyone was telling me, like, why didn't you go to that? Why didn't you go to that? Because I didn't hear about it. But I, I luckily heard about the one in Chicago, and as soon as I heard that, I, I decided to jump right on that. <clears throat> and from there, I, I actually changed my entire sleep schedule because it was a tournament, Rise Till Dawn, where it ended at 5.35 in the morning. So I, I trained every single day to change my sleep schedule, play on their peripherals that they made you play on, and it was pretty much my life for the entire month. And eventually it, it paid off because me and Funk Bomb won. Well, congratulations to Team Exploit. They did win the Chicago Red Bull Fortnite event, yeah. featuring Fortnite here. Um, so congrats. From there, kind of gave us validation that we are good enough to play, because we played, we played against Ninja, Vivid, Monster, all these people that were already in the scene. So this gave us validation for ourselves to keep grinding and keep getting better. So yeah, the past couple weeks have, for me have been pretty insane. I've, I've been invited to the skirmish. The reason I got invited was because of how I placed in the Solar Showdown, which was basically an open competition for every player that, um, that plays Fortnite. I'm super thankful to Epic for actually being able to host that because most people don't um, pay attention to the small people. And it, it showed, it's given a lot of people a platform to become professional gamers. Fortnite, uh, for me, is the most unique game ever created. I, I, I've never seen a game like it because you play one round, you die, and you, you feel like you can, you can always do better and improve. So that, that just sucks you in. And I think that sucks everybody in the same concept. The first skirmish that I think FaZe noticed me from, I was wearing the same jersey as my character, pretty much. I was wearing a Man City jersey, which my friend in England kind of talked me into being that, that fan. But um, it was kind of an accident. It was a few weeks before on stream where I was wearing that, and somebody somebody mentioned, it's like, why are you trying to match your, your, uh, your Fortnite kit right now? I was like, yeah, screw it. Just kind of went with it. I'm a city fan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've known about Phase Clan for a while, uh, back in the COD Trickshot days, but I took a little bit of time off um, for modeling and such that I, that I didn't really follow until the Fortnite stuff came up. My parents are really supportive with the gaming. The Ninja event was held in Chicago, and I was willing to spend pretty much all the money I had to get there. But luckily, my dad um, decided to step up and pay for my flight there. But they don't really know. They didn't really know. They still probably don't really know what's going on. Um, they don't like my mom didn't spell the game right when she uh, <laughs> when she mentioned it on Facebook. Said Fortnite, like the actual spelling. I grew up playing video games from as long as I remember. The first system I ever bought was a system called 3DO. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. There's a game called Road Rash, which was like a, a biker game. You would like slap each other with, with chains and stuff. But from there, yeah, I just fell in love with games. And like competitively, I, I started playing games like Warcraft 3, which got me into Dota, which got me into Dota 2, which is when I really, really started concentrating on video games and saw potential in myself as a professional gamer. But I didn't really know much about the competitive scene back then, even though I probably was good enough. I just, I feel like there was a lot of politics that went into it. And also there was a lot of like a team aspect in the old games. 
whereas it's Fortnite, which I'm playing now, has been, is giving you a chance to show yourself as a, as a solo competitor and really shine by yourself. Honestly, what drives me to become the best Fortnite player and the best or the best gamer in general is just because I love doing it. I, there's nothing else in the world that I like doing more than gaming. I, I've, I've, I've tried modeling, I've tried singing, all that. And I put a lot of effort into both those things. I just, it never stuck with me as like what I really, really, really want to do. So every day I wake up and I just want to get better at the game. So I got into modeling um, pretty much just my mom talking me into it. You know you know how uh, parents are, they're like, oh, my son's always so beautiful or whatever. Um, but yeah, she talked me into it and I basically signed up with one of those, those little modeling schools and they, they took me to a bigger agency and from there I kind of just signed with them, moved to New York pretty much right out of high school. I stopped high school halfway through so I could become or senior year halfway through so I could become a model and um, travel from there. For most people, it's a very weird industry that nobody really understands. And I've proved myself in that industry. I've been doing that for seven years. I've been living on my own and um, supporting myself. So I, I feel like succeeding in that has given be confidence and everyone around me confidence that I'll be able to succeed in the next. I did want to stream, but um, some, some girl stuff got in the way. So that, that dream kind of kind of went away for a little bit um, until Fortnite came along and I saw the success that these people were having. And I thought, uh, I feel like I'm just as good as them and maybe have a better outreach for to talk to people or become a role model for people. So I decided to give it a try. I am a small streamer now, but I, I've always kind of envisioned, envisioned myself as becoming a bigger streamer. Um, I do still plan to read, read chat as much as I possibly can. We may have to start switching to like sub modes or something, but I'll, I, no, I'll, I'll still always have the small streamer mentality. Like I, I even want to host these, these small like Discord snipes for smaller streamers when I'm streaming, uh, I, I like to be really, really interactive with my chat. Like I, I try to pretty much read whatever they, they, they're coming through. Mainly because I've been a small streamer for so long that I'm, I'm sort of used to that. That's the way to grow. And I like to, I like to, I like to slap back with some of the people. Like there's a lot of people that come in on Twitch chats that are, are pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. So I, I'll give it right back to them. I don't really care. <laughs> I, I've been streaming for nine months before I got any recognition. Like I, I went through the days where I had <clears throat> five, six, six viewers, even zero. And you just gotta not care and just believe in yourself. Otherwise, nobody else will. When I'm not gaming or modeling, I'm usually playing guitar or singing. Uh, mediocre, uh, not, not great at it, but uh, I do it. Uh, I watch all kinds of sports. I'm a huge golf fan, huge Tiger Woods fan. It's great to see him coming back. Um, football, baseball, basketball, all that. Well, I'm from Philadelphia. All Philly sports, all the way through. But for some reason, I'm a Cowboys fan. <laughs> it's, 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 a bit, it's a bit yikes, but I don't know. Something about being a devil's advocate when, you, when you're a kid is, is, is fun. It's like mess with your, your friends and stuff. So I think that might have been the reason I became a Cowboys fan, but also I like the color blue. It's pretty good too. For, for people that don't know who I am, first and foremost, I am a gamer. Dota 2, I played, I probably played 6,600 hours into that game and played probably eight hours a day as well on that. But like I said, there was, I don't know, there's just something different about about Fortnite that allows you to be, that actually gives you a chance to become a professional. I'm joining a, a gaming team where everybody has a code name or a, a gamer tag, and I think I'm gonna roll with my actual name, which is Nate Hill. 